Uh, well, we already teased. I showed your pigeon photo of, and oh, we relayed. Eggs. Yes. Oh, well, no, eggs. I haven't seen the video yet. The, the Let's the take large a look. Baby. Yeah. Okay. She, you, uh, well, after uh, my horrible hat problem yesterday, <laughs> uh, boy, it'll be a red letter day in morning history. Um, then Nancy sent me this helpful video that just really showed what awful flying rats pigeons are. I think we oh, should have it. It's right underneath the original oh, that, that, photo. I have never seen such an ugly baby animal. They mm. are, I mean, you're trying to think like, maybe this is cute. It is not cute. Pigeons are, no. I mean, they're better looking when they're grown up. Yeah. This is an ugly, Their ugly bone thing. structure develops. Not, not good looking when they're grown up, just to be clear. They're ah, still. No, that's, you've got a special, a special thing with the pigeons. What, what's your pigeon story? It's not really a story, just the, 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 I mean, as you know, growing up in Chicago with your Slavic friends, the uh, Czech word for pigeon is cholub. Um, and uh, that meal, uh, and no. which conveniently is also the Czech word for booger, and I think it's the <laughs> accurate way to describe they are the boogers of the sky. They're, they're flying rats, they're they, awful, they can't move without going yes. right, in, right in your ear. Mm. They're ready to attack you, they know. They, they could see it in your eyes, and they're gonna go straight for you like this, but not not even straight in a, in a perfect way, but like enough like this, so that it, 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 it didn't gets they, the uh, didn't fire. They, didn't a bunch land I, in your ear uh, one time? I was doing a walk of shame in college at like two in the morning, or no, in the afternoon. Um, kind of like yeah, that's more accurate. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, kind of stumbling around, and I and I noticed. Um, uh, like a, a cat up to no good in uh, uh, a, a, like a, a gutter. I'm like, all right, what's that cat doing? So I walk over to the cat. Listen, clearly still drunk, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. Um, uh, you know when you're in that state. What's you just know you can commune you know. with a. It's like your Aquaman. You have special <laughs> telepathy. Uh, so I looked over, and indeed, cat was up to no good. He was like menacing a little defenseless baby bird in the gutter, and I thought that's not fair. Right? Uh, no, that's nature. Um, and so, well, I was thinking, you're young, you have different ideals. Um, and uh, and so I, I went and I shooed the cat off. And I was sort of looking at the bird, like, can I do anything here? Well, probably not. And I start walking down the street, and this is back when I had hair, like, down here. And oh, yeah. Ripping irons and the whole bit. And, uh, and then the bird's family, which were either pigeons or doves, but they're all the same, like, shit size. Yeah. Um, a booger size uh, thought that I was the perpetrator. Oh, the and they came after me, and so I'm running down the street in Isla Vista, California, <laughs> no. in the afternoon with long crimped iron hair and the oh. walk of shame, screaming yeah. as an entire Italian Jersey mob family full of pigeons are coming after me and pecking me in my earballs. And it's it's t I don't. It's not. Wow. There's certain movies I'm not going to see. Let's there see. isn't a lot I would say about social media, but man, I wish social media was around back then because there would have been a million iPhones in your face watching you get attacked by a family of pigeons. Oh, I would have dined out. Uh, okay, that. I will just say something in defense of the, the, the more comely boogers. The morning doves, <laughs> which I have birthing on my fire escape all the time, are not as ugly as the pigeon. That, that pigeon is Bad news. Mm. Uh, the, and just uh, slimy looking. And they, my mom had a pigeon, had a pigeon. It was like they called it a pet when they were first married. And because it was perched right outside their window. And she just called it bird. And they, uh, and she, she was very happy that it was out the window. But then like the baby was born. It was just like one. And then it died. And the pigeon just had another baby on top of the dead baby. And my mom was so <laughs> disgusted by it that she would get rid of the nest. And when, once they get it into their head that that's where they're going to be, and that's what it reminded me of your eggs. I don't know right, if we had right, the right, video. Right. that they, My mom would just clean it up every time they were trying to build a met nest. And finally, and the pigeon was getting more and more frantic and trying to bring stuff over. And my mom would just clean it up. And finally, one day, there was just a twig and an egg because the pigeon just couldn't hold it anymore. Yeah. Uh, and so there was the she egg. She couldn't and, uh, hold it. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> So they're just awful. Okay, so here we are. This is a little three nature sets of lesson. Hatchlings here, five babies all together. This spring they had this one. This is like what happened to my mom. And then I started noticing an accumulation of eggs. It's not like sat on eggs. Cadbury so eggs. I went yeah. to Twitter. Where else would you go ask about birds, right? And um, I found out that if the mate something happens to the mate, then they can't they can't uh, they can't have the babies because you need they switch off um, like sitting. Like so I think what happened was the lady was still around to lay the eggs, but the dude was gone and 
We have no more. We have no more babies. Typical here. dude. So last year, uh, uh, work was done. I, I I will say though that I do like. Yeah, we just go in for the fun part. You yeah. can handle the rest. You can hear the dove because my desk is right next to the window, and I can hear that. And, and they come every day. They still come, but they're not. They're not nesting. So. Well, did you say you had a video of pigeons? Yeah, I can't find it, but. Well, you can do an impression. I certainly. Um, I this lived. Is as good I lived as on Chihuahua. a. Floor walk up, and the building next to me was only four stories. So, looking out my kitchen window, I could see the roof where these pigeons, and this was right behind Port Authority. Oh, so these uh, are these so the nuclear. Those pigeons Port have switchblades. Yeah. Port Authority pigeons <laughs> who were just like, We came here to fuck. <laughs> so that's, that's all these birds would do on this roof, and so I. I knew when two birds were on there, there's this little mating ritual. Oh, no. the, the, the woman kind of hops away, and the man kind of hops forward, and it's this little dance, and then he just gets behind. <laughs> he told you there was an impression. <laughs> it only lasts about five seconds, but like there's a lot of flapping, and then they just walk off. And that's it. I saw that. I saw the doves yeah. do that. Yeah. On that, they they spent a couple of like minutes doing this. Yeah. Back and forth. Back and forth. <laughs> then they got together. And like, so many gifts. <laughs> <laughs> and then she immediately, she immediately nested. I mean, like wow, was really? No oh. time whatsoever. I was like, oh. no cigarette. No, yeah, nothing, man. Wow. Just immediately picking out the drapes and the. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, yeah. and the male doves look at his watch. <laughs> <laughs> I realize I got a meeting tomorrow. 